<laughs> yeah, I know the feeling too. <laughs> Are we up and running? I think so. Can I do it? What? Yes. Okay, I forgot I got to put this on. Okay, um, why don't we start with something that you guys know? Um, so he came down. Ah! I can't get my nose in here. Okay. He came down is one of those, the first couple of tunes that I put in here are ones that you know, but um, one of those, uh, some of these tunes that hit sort of gray areas in how we feel them. So um, the he came down thing is notated in four, but I think we do it at a fast enough speed and we feel it more in a two. He came down that we may have, that, right? We, we sort of more feel it in the two. And I think that's one of the reasons why the triplets in this thing don't seem to bother us particularly, because if we're feeling that two pulse, then the triplet just spans the pulse that we feel, and it doesn't feel as awkward as a quarter note triplet usually does. We've talked about triplets the last few weeks, and um, those quarter note triplets always have a, a big sense of pull if they're in a, in a slow enough rhythm that we have to really plan them out. Whereas here, we sort of more feel the cut time of it, even if we're even if it's notated in four. Um, let's just sing a, a verse or so. Um, it's short. Why don't we do two verses? Love and joy. So one and two. He came down that we may have love. He came down that we may have love. He came down that we may have love. Hallelujah. He came down that we may have joy. He came down that we may have joy. He came down that we may have joy. Hallelujah forevermore. Does that make sense? I mean, you kind of feel that quickness. <laughs> so um, let's take a look at Among All. This is not technically a Christmas song, but it comes up a lot in December because we have all these merry themes going on. And it's a, it's a good example, I think, of a 2-2 two -two that we might more easily understand in four. One of the reasons is because, A, it, the tempo of it is more relaxed. It's not super fast. Second reason is that it's super syncopated. And so to feel all of these offbeat syncopations that extend over multiple pulses, um, like the second line, among all you said yes, where all those beats, all those pulses are syncopated out, you know, multiple times, um, over multiple beats, I should say. Um, it's hard to, to feel where those are placed when you're feeling a large half note sort of a pulse. So then the question is, why would the composer choose a 2-2 two -two time signature? My answer is to make sure people understand that the tempo of the piece is not super dirgy. If you see this written as a 4-4, um, with the text being what it is, you would probably make the assumption that it goes fairly slow and is pretty slushy, and he doesn't want that feeling. He wants that more moving contemporary sound. Um, if you were thinking about it in 4, um, among all to you are blessed, you know, you would instinctively probably set a much slower tempo than I think he wants or feels is appropriate. So I think it's his way of saying, keep it moving, keep it, um, keep it that contemporary. Keep it light. Um, what? I said keep it light. Keep it light, keep it moving, keep it sort of um, grooving, you know? So you guys all recognize this tune? We have used it. So is there anybody who doesn't know it? If you know, um, do you want to review the alto, Lori? Why don't we try the alto? One and two. Among all you are blessed and full of grace and holiness. Among all you 
consciousness to do God's will with openness. Oh, baby, full of grace. Mary, Mother of God, be with us. Pray for us. The verses are you. Mis- what? Really? I use it on holy days quite a bit. Um, maybe you played it when we did sing it. How about the bass line? Let's just look at that real quick. It's Yeah, it's all unison with the tenor. So, Anthony, you can go ahead and sing along and just do your own part when it gets there. So, one and two. Among all you are blessed. And full of grace and holiness, among all you said yes, to do God's will in openness, full of grace, Mary, Mother of God, be with Kind of got some funky harmony toward the end of it. You know the tune, right, Mary Jo? So let's try um, at least a verse, a refrain in a verse, um, and back again and kind of get used to it. If you don't know, it's a good time to learn it because I plan to use it more. <laughs> start with the verse? No, let's start with the refrain that we've just worked on and then go into it. The verses, um, and this is one where, whoops, sorry, I just messed myself up. The, as a warning, the verses change um, key signatures, so it has a major refrain, but it has a minor key for the verses, so it's going to be a little different. Um, and this is one, like I said, I think feels more like in a, in a faster four than a slower two, so I'm going to do it in a four. So here we go. One, two, three. Among all you are blessed and full and holiness among all you said yes to do God's will with openness only be full of grace Mary Mother of God be with us pray for us you teach us to So that's a really, I think, you know, a good example of that feeling of it still has a cut time sort of a feel, but you can feel it either way and make it work with the style that he wants. Let's jump ahead and do, um, how about Ding Dong Merrily? That's one of the octavo things that I gave you. So now the question is, how many of you remember doing this? Besides Mike. (laughs) We have done this as a choir. So... um, Let's leave out these opening glorias and just do the regular soprano and alto lines 
Um, so basically all the women, let's just do all the women starting at the beginning um, through the first page and leave out the ding-dongs. And then when it breaks into soprano and alto on the lower dings and dongs, altos, you can jump down and do that because we don't have enough people to do all the parts anyway. So does that make sense? So if you leave out the ding-dongs, the beginning of the <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys all recognize the tune? Know the tune a little bit? Okay. Um, let's see. Let's see. Matt, do you want to review the bass line at all? So, um, where the glorious starts at the bottom of the, the second page, which is page number three, where the four part split starts. This is most definitely a cut time feel. Ding dong, merrily on high, bump, 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 right? It's gotta be a cut time, it's very clearly a cut time. Um, so let's start with that Gloria at the bottom of the, of the page. So, um, yeah, that's a hard place to jump in because it's the middle of the phrase. You guys okay with it? Okay, one, two. Let's stop for a sec. So page five has a repeat on it. Heads up. Okay, if you hadn't noticed that. Um, then the next section, Matt, does the tune for you guys. So you good with that? Um, let's look at page seven. Page seven also has a repeat on it. So let's look at the bass part on seven. And it's one, two, There we go. Um, we stopped. Let's jump and do page eight and nine real quick. Well, actually, nine starts to repeat what you already know. So, what? Yep. I think you can figure it out from there. Let's start from the top. Anybody else want to review a part? Ring ding a ding a ding a dong. So, yeah. So just to review the form, okay, we talked about form, so that's the game plan of what repeats. Page five has a repeat on it. Page seven has a repeat on it. Okay, otherwise it sings out. So be careful on those spots. Should we try it? It's supposed to be a cappella, but Bonnie's going to help us a little here and there. <laughs> okay? And one, two. Ding dong, merrily on high, and have the bells are ringing. Ding dong, merrily the sky is red, and they just sing. Thank you. 
Workout, isn't it? <laughs> I've never done that one before. Haven't you? Not that person, no. <laughs> Do you guys want to work it a little bit or and go back and clean it up or should we move on? <laughs> if I'm threatening you with performing it. I do want to for sure look at one other thing tonight. I don't know where we're at on time. You have two minutes. You have two minutes? Well, let's go ahead and move on. We won't worry about cleaning it up a whole lot here. See you, Mary Jo. Um, but that's one of my favorite little tunes because it's just such a happy, perky little thing. So I decided we were going to work on a new one. So let's take out this child of grace. This is not a cut time thing or anything close to that, but I thought we have not looked at anything brand new for a while. And we're a choir and it's Christmas time, so we should be working on something new. <laughs> um, So we'll just have Bonnie play some melody for us to start with and kind of get us going on it. And then we'll kind of break it down here and there. And uh, it's just a really, really pretty little tune. Um, it's all unison to begin with anyway. So let's do the first part, first verse and refrain and see how we do. Um, can you just give us the intro so we get a feel for the tonality? And then we'll do the, just come in with melody when we're starting. So one... You come to us in human form as we make flesh and love divine to melt our hearts, child. You were born, the Holy One in God's design, child of grace. God with us in the new world, with his wrath in the new world, be with us in the new world. How are we following it? Feeling okay? There's some interesting jumps in here that I think are unexpected. Um, some bigger ones, like the, as word made flesh in the opening line. Let's just sing that much one more time, and we'll have Bonnie put a little bit of the harmony behind it, okay? So right on it. One, two, three. You come to us in human form as word made flesh and Let's stop for one sec. Bon, can you add just a little bit of the cording underneath? To give us more of a sense of it. One, two, three. You come to us in human form as we make flesh and on heaven to build our hearts, child. You were born the Holy One in God's design, child of grace. God with us in the new world, heart's birth place in the new world, be with us in the new world. 
So let's take a break for a second and look at the guys part. Um, yeah, it's tenor. If you, um, <laughs> well, then they have a tenor bass line later on that's much too high for you guys too. So, um, but altos, if you want to try the, to sing with Anthony, you can kind of play around with that and see how that feels. Okay. Um, but let's run the, the men's line here, okay? So, one, two, three. You come to us in very ways, in spoken word, in banquet feast, in times of grace, and gathered praise in holy so let's look at that line in times of grace, the, the pick up into the second line there. There is a change of note on praise. It's not a tie. There's actually a pitch change there, okay? Yep, so let's do it from in times. One, two, three. In times of grace and gathered grace in holiest and very least. So that was following the men's line all the way through. Altos, let's pick you guys up on the refrain there. Bottom of page four. Thank you. Yep, there we go. <laughs> okay. Two, three. Child of grace, Emmanuel, be with us, Emmanuel. Hearts were placed in the be with us, Emmanuel. Making sense? You want to do it again? Why don't we do um, everything except the melody? So at the refrain, the, the guys part and the alto part real quick. One, two, three. Child of grace, Yep. So can we try it from the second verse? So Anthony, I'm hoping you'll join me on the melody. Well, actually, that doesn't work either. No, you guys are on the melody on the verse, so that'll help. You guys are singing melody on the verse and letting the tenors and altos do the low part. I'm telling. So go ahead and sing the soprano line in your own octave. Okay, the melody line. And then you can jump and do the, join the tenors if you want to, or you can stay on melody, whatever you like. So here we go. Pick up into page four. One, two, three. You come to us in your ways, in spoken word and And that ends a little unfinished, obviously. You can hear it in the harmony because it goes into a little extra part. So how about if we, don't want to keep you super late tonight, but how about if we do um, what we know so far up to there? Do you want to review anything before we go back and do that?
Okay, from the top. Two, three. You come to us in human form as one that flesh and love yet I to melt our hearts till you are born the Holy One in God's design Child of grace Emmanuel God with us Hearts with grace, Emmanuel, be with us, Emmanuel. You come to us in varied ways, in spoken word, in banquet in times of grace and gathered grace, in lowliest and varies, child of grace, Emmanuel, God with us, Emmanuel, heart's birthplace, Emmanuel, be with us. What do you think? How do you? Kind of nice, huh? Say what? It'll grow, I'm sure. <laughs> we might spend a little time on this and actually, you know, clean it up a little bit more. Um, we haven't done that with anything for a while. Um, so, do you guys want to sing through that he is born a divine Christ child? That was the other octavo I put in there. It's kind of a sight-readable thing, so. Or do you want to just go? Don't get too excited. <laughs> we'll just let it go. That's fine. Okay. Um, anyway, thank you. Are there any special Christmas requests that you guys want to do over the next couple of weeks? Well, I didn't consider the size of the group. Yeah, I know. No, no, I wasn't. I was thinking maybe we'd pull out like still, 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 because that's kind of an easy one and easy to throw together with Night a of Night of Silence. Yep. And maybe through the watches. Do you remember that one from a couple years back? That was kind of a cool new one. Oh, because you guys are usually, yeah. You've always come to the four o'clock and then you don't come with the car. Yeah. So this is your chance to learn all the stuff that you're missing. Well, yeah. Well, I do have you guys up. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll get the music to you guys. And I think, can't remember which mass though, I gotta look at that. All of us? You and Matt, probably Austin. Um, and then I need to plan, I put him up to play the weekend.